Hello, YouTube. And, um, right. I was going to wait till Monday to do this, but it's just too good. So, how does the universe grow? So, let's say the universe, when it's born, well, a universe, right? When it's born, is the size of this sheet of A4 paper. But it's got a hundred billion dots, say a hundred billion atoms, right? That's not a hundred billion, but... And... It's growing constantly. So there's this thing about 23 trillion times a second. And so as it grows, so does the space in between all the atoms, say. So it keeps its shape. And each of these atoms will, will grow from that point. And eventually they'll become big stars that will blow up and then all these are beginning of galaxies. So this is, a universe is a soul. So, like I say, the, the, the shape and where, the, where it starts will remain fixed. That is like the personality of the soul, whose universe it is. So we've all got one of these. But we're connected to a body in our parents' universe. And <laughs> so, yeah, that fits in with this physical body being just a loner, just a borrowed thing, while we begin to understand that we've got this probably eternal uh, being which has a physical manifestation of a universe. So yeah, I suppose there is a lot more to talk about this and I was just thinking about it and I thought I've got to get out of there. So seeing as that went quick, let's just quickly do this because this this also fits in to how the earth works now so obviously you know in each if each of these is a galaxy actually this could almost each of these is a galaxy but also each of these also looks like stars doesn't it, it looks like the stars in the galaxy so lots of space between them so each one of these is a star, so each star has a planet's, right? And so, here's Earth, say. So Earth is growing too. And so I just want to say now, you know, flat Earth versus Earth expansion. Earth expansion, heard about that quite a few years ago. Um, you can watch videos on it. You can really see how uh, the continents... So Earth would have started like an ice planet. And so the sun here, everything's growing all the time. So the sun's growing, getting hotter and hotter. And so I think the bit in the Bible where they're talking about dividing the firmament, well, we'll come on to that. So, you know, it's an ice planet, and, and then, you know, it gets warmer and it melts and it turns into water. And what else starts to happen, I think about four-ish, three maybe, hundred million years ago, um, it started heating up so much that the, the, the mantle, the molten mantle, was expanding in heat and that started to break up the continents. Now, 
the earth at this time would have been completely covered in water. And we know that because, like, uh, south of England is made of chalk, and the chalk is dead sea life. So, so as, as then the, the mantle's expanding, as everything's sort of growing, and it might be that the earth is growing too, it might be that once an atom becomes a matter, an atom it always grows, but I don't <laughs> Okay, the universe, right, that picture of the universe is, is growing from, from, from the original layout design. So it's all growing together, but and so are the gaps in between. That's why it appears to be expanding or accelerating out. Whereas just that the whole thing is growing. So I don't know, once a mass reaches a certain level, maybe that bit of mass grows too. Sorry, I haven't worked it all out. But anyway, so this is what broke the continents apart was this earth expansion so then you you know so then earth gets bigger and starts to have continents and obviously the ice has melted and created an atmosphere and you know so flat earth although there are some cool things coming along with flat earth about it being you know an important place in the universe you know it's not like uh, every star has planets going around with life on there may be six others so yeah so that is how the universe grows and all of us obviously along with our soulmate so all right so then you you got here again this bit so all these are now galaxies you know, spiral galaxies, you know, they've been growing for, you know, 15 to 30 billion years. So, you know, in God's universe, they've all got pretty big. And there was a point that that these galaxies then, because you imagine a galaxy starting from a star, that star blows up and then there's loads of bits around it, but it all keeps growing. Yeah, it does. It all keeps growing. So, every, well, I don't know. But anyway, so then, you know, and then another star comes and blows up, and then it just adds, it's all adding, but it's all going to stay within the galaxy. And then at some point, however long ago, maybe a billion years, maybe not quite that much, um, each one of these developed a black hole. And that was when God first had children and that is when we first came into existence even though we weren't aware of it and while we're in our parents universe every breath we take is is love from God um, you know our bodies are like I say just a a, a, a vessel to experience you know and you've got to learn about emotions it helps to have some sort of scene, you know, set the scene for the emotion, but the emotion is the important bit. And that's how we'll grow in love and truth. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. In the beginning was truth. Truth and love are linked. Truth is love, and love is truth. And truth was with God. God got to a point where God was with truth and we will get there eventually and um, that's how it all works brothers and sisters <laughs> good in it okay bye <laughs>